Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we'll try to understand this problem that's based on the tensile force developed in a bar. So let's first of all read the problem. So we have a homogeneous bar of mass m and it is released from rest on a fixed inclined plane of inclination theta. The upper part of the plane shown in dark grey is not frictionless and the lower part shown in light grey is frictionless. And the coefficient of friction between the bar and the upper part of the plane is mu. What will be the maximum tensile force in the bar while sliding it while it is sliding on the plane? Okay, so first of all, let's just uh, understand a few things. Okay, so we have three blocks that are connected to each other with a string. A force of magnitude F acts on all three of the blocks and they all act simultaneously. So first question is what is the tension in these strings? And the answer to that would be it will be zero. And okay, so let's try to understand why is that? So first of all, all these blocks are at rest, okay? Instantaneously, we, are, we have given it a force F. So at this particular instant, so there was no tension here to begin with, right? Now, when we have just given it a force F, what will be the acceleration of this block? It will be F by M. Both of the other blocks will also have the same acceleration. This block and this block will have the same velocity as well, initial velocity. In order for tension to develop in this string, this block number one has to move faster than block number two. Only then there will be tension in the string. In this particular case, both of them will move with the same velocity and hence there will be no tension in this string. So now, uh, now if we apply the same concept into, some, into a body that is moving on a plane, here I drew a train of blocks, right? Now consider this particle as, a as an infinite train of blocks as well. In each of these trains, the same force of dmg is acting. So hence, if you chop this at some point, then the tensile force in this part will be zero. Just because of the reason that we discovered here. And mind you, there is no friction here. All right, there is no friction here. Or even if it has friction, it's uniform friction everywhere, okay? In that case, the tensile force developed in the rod is zero everywhere. But in the problem that is given to us, it's not the same case. But in the problem that was given to us, the situation is slightly different. So let's say this is the plank. So now let's say x fraction of this uh, rope is in the region without friction. And why is this tensile force developing? I'll try to explain. So, so let's try to draw the FBD of this part. And let's call its mass as some smaller. So it will have a force of mg sine theta downwards, right? So if there was no tensile force here, if there was zero tensile force here, then the acceleration of this piece should be the g sine theta. But we clearly know that is not the case, right? Because if we consider this as a system, there, will, there is clearly friction force acting in this direction. So the acceleration of this rope will be less than g sine theta. So therefore, there must be some tensile force in this direction, trying to, in this direction, opposite to the mg sine theta, so, so that its acceleration becomes less than g sine theta. The, cons the next thing that you guys need to understand is that the tensile force will be maximum at this interface. Now, why is that? And let's say we try to chop this m mass into an even smaller piece and let's call its mass as m dash. So the force acting on this piece is going to be m dash g sine theta. If I consider the acceleration of the rope 2 as a, both these pieces will have the same acceleration. Now think about it. This, for, this force acting down the plane is mg sine theta, right? This is m dash g sine theta. Now clearly this force is less, right? So in order to produce the same acceleration, we just need less tension as compared to T. If you didn't understand, what, you, what we can do is, we can write the F equals MA equation. So as you can see, as M dash is less than M, we can say that T dash is less than T. Okay, so that was the next concept. So now, now a few things are clear to us. First of all, there will be, first of all, we try to understand why would there be a tensile force? And secondly, we understood that it will be maximum at this interface, okay? So now, now all we have to do is write a function of t at this interface. So first let's try to find out this acceleration. So if we take this rope as a system and try to draw its FBD, on this part of the rope there will be friction acting, okay, and whose magnitude will be equal to the mass of this L minus x part, that is going to be lambda times of L minus x, g cos theta. And the driving force of this entire rope is going to be simply mg lambda l g sin theta. So the acceleration we can write it as lambda divided by the mass of the rope which is lambda multiplied by l. So now we have the acceleration. Okay so now we have acceleration as uh, as a function of x okay. Now all we have to do is now we need the function uh, now we need the tension force at this interface. So we'll take the fbd of the left part 
the driving force down the plane on this part will be lambda xg sine theta. And there is no friction acting, but there is some tensile force here. T at the interface, this is the tension at the interface, so I'm just gonna call it as Ti. And the acceleration, we have determined it, right? Now we can write the F equal to MA equation. So, okay, so this is what we get the Ti as. So now, as you can see, this lambda xg sine theta component gets canceled out and all we are left with. Okay, so this is what we get the tension at the interface as a function of x. So as you can see, it's a quadratic, right? So if I try to plot this curve, so the roots of this quadratic uh, will be x equals zero, will be x equals zero and x equals L. And as the A is negative, so it, okay, so this parabola is going to be something like this. As we can see, the tension is max at this midpoint, which is x equals L by two. So basically when the rope comes halfway down this uh, interface, that is a point where the tension at the interface will be maximum. So now all we have to do is substitute this value of L in this equation and you'll get the tension, the maximum value of tension to be, which is option B. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubts, comment down below. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.